But a lot of people are sitting there because they're, you know, stuck in the retail space going, hold, 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 yeah, fuck, right? And there's this explosion. Quick disclaimer, uh, these videos are meant for educational purposes only. Anything said or shown in any of these videos are personal opinion and my perspective. A trading carries a high level of risk, so anything done is your responsibility. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to MentFX. We're gonna jump right into a scalping strategy that also, by the way, can be used on any other time frame. So this is going to mean that you can be a higher time frame swing trader with this. You could be on the hourly, the four hours, the very low time frames. It's all the same thing. And you can be on any instrument or pair that you want. That includes stocks, indices, commodities, crypto, as well as Forex, my, my bread and butter. I love Forex. It's the most liquid trading asset in the world. And it has the best movement on the lower time frames that I prefer to enter on because I like to use my strategy that's on the lower time frames. And as you know, in the mentorship, I have the entire strategy outlined for you in the form of MBs and how we teach them there. Now, for this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you one, a minus one, two, a break even, and three, a win from this week's trading. So right now, again, it's only um, the 22nd of February um, for at the time of recording this video. Again, it's gonna come out definitely later, but I've already recorded a few videos about my days and spoke about the idea of experiencing those break evens and minus ones so that then you can experience the actual wins, the actual wins, and of course, more break even. So what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna find our minus ones. We're gonna jump down and, and talk about how and why we lost them. Then we're gonna talk about a break even. Then we're gonna talk about a win and show you that every step of the way, it's the exact same mentality, the exact same strategy, and nothing changes, right? It's just about understanding your edge and then executing it. So what I'm gonna do is I, actually just jumped here into my mental effects trade ideas. I'm just going to scroll up to find like a, a win or a loss that maybe I took that I can show you guys. Um, took another sell, win to BE. So no losses here. Just going to look for um, the losses that I can. That was the current day of that day. That was beautiful. I want to find a loss for you guys. So you guys know. So that was the, the plus. That was really nice. I really want to find a minus one for you guys though. So you guys can see it firsthand. Um, I don't remember exactly where it was. I'm just scanning this as fast as I can. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we had a minus one right here, it looks like. So it looks like it was after we had a minus one first, a few BEs, three BEs, and then a minus one. And we can break down why we took that minus one from an approach from higher to lower time frame. So you know exactly what we're doing from a strategy-based perspective. So um, we're going to go over here to the to the right. There's that minus one. So the, the reasoning for this, and we're just going to break it down simply, is start of the week. What was I looking for? Is looking for price to trade up into this supply zone, right? As part of this three box strategy, as part of this higher time frame, as you remember, three box, right? So we have box one, aka the impulse, box two, aka the SND. You know, it's absorbing and confirming. So now it's it's going short, which means we're we're looking for price to come and trade into this, which means we're overall short, right? We get to our lower time frame. In that lower time frame, we have a new short bias established, so we can use that to begin to potentially get into plays that could run for those lows if we do get those runs. Otherwise, as we know, price can just go long and it's whatever, it doesn't really matter. So start of the week, I was just looking for that. That's actually where I took most of my break evens and losses this week, and then the rest were beautiful trades. So, you know, it's part of trading. So it's no problem again, but it's just looking at that one hour, three block strategy. We jump into the one minute and you can see at this time that the one minute um, still was holding itself right from this high to this low. So for me, you know, the only range that exists is from here to here. So if you want to confirm a sell from a standpoint of the three box system, you're looking for an impulse that breaks this original three box system and then begins to put in, right, your trades from the Wyckoff confirm of the S&D of that new three box and then take that significantly lower as part of the next liquidity run and begin to target those much lower areas with the management that I've taught you recently to use, right? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely make sure you've seen the other videos. Um, we're just gonna break this down exactly as it is from a standpoint of what I've always taught on this channel and now what is taught everywhere on YouTube, which is amazing because it means people are learning from me and now teaching it to you guys. Um, so I'm happy to see all these new like videos on this stuff, but it's always been one structure, two SND or POI, you know, or AO, whatever people want to call it. doesn't really matter. Three and is your confirm, right? These are the only three things you'll ever need um, in an understanding and then only need to refine and work on your psychological aspect to become an extremely profitable trader, right? You can make millions doing this. You can make tens of millions doing this. You could make a living doing this, right? If you don't want to make millions, that's fine, right? And not everyone's after just the money side. 
Or you could, you know, completely fail in the industry if you continue bunny hopping strategies and don't really stick to anything, right? You keep believing that there's something better out there. There's some other fluff that you heard, right? Maybe you heard some new terminology that you want to use. The reality is everything always comes back down to this. Um, it is the proven and 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 traded smart money method that works. Um, and, you know, you guys can check out my Instagram testimonials in terms of what that looks like or even check out my last video where I just scrolled through some of the the chats that I had with other people, right? Now, nonetheless, let's just jump right into it. I don't want to. I don't want to bullshit around. Um, we're just gonna. We're gonna break this down, okay? So, we're not gonna talk about this break evens yet. We're gonna talk about this trade right here. So clearly, we're in this bullish range. We can't really use it unless we want to wait for it to break down, right, or break up again. So at that point, I went to a lower time frame. I believe it was the 15 second. Yep, it does look like that. You can see we had this break of structure down. I began to follow this supply zone mitigation, but that broke bullish. So we're not going to break that down because it's not important. We're looking at this trade right here and why we lost it. So that's what I want to break down for you guys today um, for that minus one, at least right price breaks the high. So right now, all I had for me, for myself, at least was this high created by this low, right? The way we view these highs and lows is taught completely in the mentorship. It's based on ment blocks. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, uh, but there's many ways you can view this. You can also see this as its own impulse, right? It's a clear structural point. And then price re-breaks that structural point down. So once again, we find the supply and demand zone that came from. Once again, the break of structure came from really this area here, as you know, right? But at the same time, if you notice the candle that's, that you have here, um, and you can literally once I, I always say this, you can see the volume of each candle. This is why we never need any of the other like software nonsense. It's all useless. Everything you need is in the volume of the actual candlestick. So you know that that last up move really, this is why I chose this, by the way, came from this point right here. Now, again, you know, you could say, oh, it's bullshit. It's all hindsight. I mean, I'm literally showing you a loss right now. Like this is <laughs> it's as real as, as my channel is ever going to get. I'm not I'm not going to do like more than this. Maybe I will. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but this is basically the volume into which smart money bought to sell off hard, right? So if we follow that mitigation, there's this little up candle that comes to tap the open of that and then drops off. So for me, I like that as its own refined supply zone. And once again, why is it a supply zone that we can use? Well, because it has this inefficiency that is present, right? From there to there. Again, some of it gets filled. So the inefficiency just becomes this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my imbalance video. So once again, there's a valid S and D there that I can trade from. And again, even though there's these points here, they're not important to me. Why? Because I've taught you to think about in the form of if there's an impulse or a three box strategy, focus on the range you're in. You don't want to be focusing on the multiple ranges and S and D's you have, because then you're just trading support resistance. You're trading like a dumb, smart money individual, and you're going to find yourself getting psychologically involved in a very dumb way, unaware of anything you're going to be doing, because this is the type of stuff that's going to happen to you and get you, you know, you fuming, get your emotions in there and you're just going to lose your money. That's just how it is. So instead focus on the last mitigation, follow follow where that price wants to go, right? And follow it based on that structure. So for me, at that point, I was willing to go short from there, right? Price comes up, taps into our zone. At that point, I think I was on a five second chart. I'll double check this really quick. Um, yep, it does look like that. So you can see we're on that five second chart. Price gets up into the zone and actually begins to break down. However, I wanted to confirm, I looked to confirm, but it instantly jumped the area I wanted to confirm, right? So what do I mean by that? Um, I, this, actually, I'm going to break this down in the mentorship. This is not needed right now. It's going to be too long. Let's talk about the actual minus one. Cause we have a few things we're going to talk about. So price comes up into the zone. Once again, even though it's above it, we don't teach in the formula of order blocks, right? We're not on that smart money side. That's not the type of smart money we teach. Now we are completely supply and demand based, which means that we focus on mitigations on the actual buying and selling of footprint institutions, composite man type of trading. The, the more of the white coffee and type, which means we can have absorptions of areas, especially if the protected high, as I teach on this channel, is that high, right? So that's a protected high. So price is clearly still holding that zone and then begins to break down. Now you have a three box strategy here, right? This is the up move. Now, once again, you're not confirming this because you're not looking to go long. You're already short waiting to short. So we're waiting for that to break. And then once again, we have this beautiful breakdown right here right? Price breaks down on this candle right here. And at that point, I actually shifted to the one second chart. So at that point, we're going to go ahead and go to the one second, right? Let's go to that one second chart. So we can break this down very, very simply. So if you notice what's going on here, right? If we just follow the mediations again, if this is too much, you know, 
I mean, this is just what I do every day, so I'm used to it. Don't get too confused, even though the, it looks weird. This is just normal price action. It happens on all time frames. just doesn't look as choppy, right? That's it. So on the one second, what we actually have, right, is you have um, this low and this high as its own impulse, right? Then it breaks down and makes a three box strategy right here. But that's before it broke this. So, of, of course, I see this all because I've been doing this for literally like two years straight now and... You know, I'm used to doing what I do. But then what you have is price comes, trades into the supply zone, as you can see, again, perfectly and algorithmically to our supply, right? Fills that in once, fills it in twice, breaks down again. Where's that break come from? From this high here, breaks down the here, right? There you go. Then comes up, fills in the open of the volume of that supply. So again, why is it hitting that perfectly? Because again, on an even lower time frame, even though this is a one second chart on a very algorithmic basis, um, institutions or the composite man is buying up at that specific point and stopping that buy up then pushing through and coming to mitigate just the open of that and from there right after this candle was formed right here um, I placed a sell limit at this point right here now it looks like you know how the fuck did you place a sell limit meant effects is bullshitting again this is a minus one first of all so it doesn't even matter um, but oh wow this actually should have been a break even just looking at this um, but I didn't follow it properly so it ended up being a minus one wow that's actually really sad, but it's okay. We're just going to talk. Did I really? Um, Yeah, I really took a minus one on this. This should have been a break even. No way. That's crazy. Okay, well, great. So we can talk about a mistake I also made. But nonetheless, right, we have this new three box strategy, impulse down, right? And then this new one in here. So once again, we have a three box strategy from this high to this low, which means the supply zone once again becomes this area right here right? So I'm going to make that easy to see. There you go, right? So that's the supply zone. And once again, price trades up into that perfectly. That's where my sell limit was placed. Again, a lot of you are sitting here probably going, there's no way you place it that quickly. But again, from this candle to this, ca actually to this candle right here, this one, this is the last up candle that mitigated this area, right? So these were all, so before that you have time to place it, right? Let's see how long that is, right? That was 23 seconds. You had to place a limit. And um, what I what I like to show you guys is like, you know, 23 seconds, if you know when, when you're ready to place it, is more than enough time. Let's say you know you're placing around 100 lots, 150 lots, right? The second that candle happens, right? Let's go to timer. Again, I do this just for fun, even with my mentorship students, but makes this 23 seconds, right? Start it. So the second you see that candle, you already know you're doing 150 lots, right? You go into your MT4, you click on sell limit, you set your stop loss, right? You go here, you type in 1.13564, 1.13564 enter right how much time do we have left your trade still not tapped again and that was with me talking to you too still still trade gets tapped right so you have more than enough time even on a one second basis to place limit orders if that's the type of trader you want to be just recognize if you don't have that experience or that confidence in what you're doing and you're sitting there going am i the three is this the three box wait is this the three box wait should i enter there i don't know should i I don't know. Do I want to risk my money? Right. If you're doing that, of course, 23 seconds is going to go by like this. But if you know exactly what your system is and when you're going to enter, when you're going to exit and how you're going to do it, it's no big deal. Why is my protection here? My protection could have been right here, but usually I, I make my protection around uh, one pip, 0 0.5 pips is just a normal thing for me. Right. So at that point, I'm in the trade. And at that point, what I'm looking for is basically to go break even. I actually didn't see this. Right. But notice this price breaks down, comes up and breaks again. At that point, this trade should have been at break even. I actually should have broken even this. I actually made my own mistake. So it is a minus one. I'll, I'll atone to that. That's okay. I can still make mistakes. Although that's crazy that I made that mistake. I, I, I can't believe I made that mistake. But nonetheless, price is playing around, plays around as it needs to, comes back up, right? So at this point, I believe what I said in the mentorship, let me double check. Um, yes, yeah, so we started running. I said, yeah, you can see right here, it says, if it breaks, I go BE. So it looked like I was watching the five second and I forgot to look at the one second there for the for the real break even. But what I was doing is I basically said, if this broke right here, that's a new structural point already, which means that would be ready to go break even. But instead of that happening, as you all know, we'll go to that five second now, you have the clear of that liquidity, right? So it makes those lows, never breaks down. So I never get a new structural shift that I can actually use. And as a result... If I can actually get this now to load, that'd be really nice. <laughs> so we'll just wait for that. And while you're still here, I'll be giving away a free one-on-one, -on -one, um, completely free. Um, all you have to do is comment hashtag MentFX. Tell me something about your journey, about where you are, how the three box is treating you, 
Um, if you maybe knew this about the three box in terms of management or the last few videos, just anything you want, you know, some kind of unique message of some sort, and you'll be picked to be a one-on-one -on -one winner in the next video, okay? So the five second, I was looking to break even after it broke this low, it never did. I let price come right back up to that area, started coming back down, ready to wait for this, came right back up and stopped me out. So that's my minus one. So again, even though that should have been a break even, that's a minus one. And once again, what do you see me doing there? Just using a three box within a smaller three box. So let's break it down. A daily three box within a one hour three box within a, what is it? 15 second three box within a five second three box within a one second three box within a trade, right? So that's literally all it is. Um, it's just the three box methodology applied across time frames. Now, again, there's better ways to view it and there's more, there's more direct concepts you can use and you can find them yourself by just testing this stuff, or you can join the mentorship where we have people every day doing this stuff, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go find a win. Um, one of the wins that was actually sent out. So like I sent this win out, but it was, um, it was sent out late. So we're going to, yeah, so this was a late send out. So I'm not going to use that. Here we go. Great. So here I basically, I basically sent this out. You can see it's live price, um, whatever the time and everything, one second chart. So you might not see this updating, but this is live price. <laughs> We're going to break this down too in a second. So I send out this buy right here. You can see, then we start, we start looking and I say, I'm watching for this move, um, to go break even. So I'm basically looking for, you see that same thing, right? A three box strategy above our point to go break even. You can see right here, here's that live price for any of you doubters, <laughs> just for fun. I don't really care. Again, I literally don't give a shit if you believe me or not. This is all just for your education, whether you're in the private or the free. Of course, the people in the private are doing amazing. So thank you guys for your support. The people in the free, I hope you just enjoy this, right? That's all That's all I aim to do. So that was the entry right there. I'm just looking to break that even. And then right there, you can see I wrote move to break even and I'm letting it run. So why did I move to break even? Here's that impulse, right? And I'm gonna go and break this down on the charts for you in one second. And letting it run, off we go. Then I send out this guy right here. I said, I'm watching for this as partial one, right? You can see. Then price comes and taps our partial one. There you go, that's the live price, tapping right into it, took off a partial. Um, and then right back down, I said, I got lucky, it didn't stop me at break even yet. The trade's still running, and then it closed at break even as it came right back down after. And that was it. And that was me done for the day with the, with the other win. But this is the one that I you know, sent right before. So we can actually break this down for you as well on this channel. Now let's go. So we're going to exit out of all this, go back to the one minute, go find out where that trade was so we can break it down for you. So there's that plus five. There's that win at the start of the day, but it's fine that we missed that. Let's delete all these little lines that we have in the middle. Don't need any of this. Don't want you guys getting confused. All right. So let's break this trade down right here. Okay. So very simply, um, what we're, what we see at the time of this trade, right? So let's just go right right as it basically happened right at the time of this trade right what do we see price was breaking down hence i was bearish and then all of a sudden price begins to shift bullish right mitigates the supply zone i mean sorry the demand zone breaks through the highs and once again what do we have a three box strategy right an impulse an snd and what are we waiting for a wyckoff right or a confirmation as we teach across the board always and forever right always remember this is the golden rule you'll ever need structure snd confirm the beautiful three things you'll ever need in this market do not buy into that nonsense fluff that's across like that's just scattered across everywhere stop paying thousands of dollars for education um again i do offer education it's a hundred dollars a month it's very cheap people can leave at any point and people are very very rarely dissatisfied and most of the time that i've had dissatisfied customers which is like maybe one every two to three months you know not, not even like maybe one every six months those dissatisfied customers, you know, if you guys, if someone that actually has been putting in the time had any time spent with one of those people, it, it would be just a laughing case. Again, I do my best to give you what I can. This is all free right now. I'm giving you all this as I can, but you know, it's up to you to use it. Um, and that's just how it is. So at that point, right, we have that three box strategy price comes and taps in. I began to watch it at that point. So we're going to jump down. I think like maybe a 15 second. Let me double check what I was on. Um, no, it might have been a 30 second from what it looks like. Yep. So we're actually going to go to 30 second because that's what it looks like I was doing. Yep. So great. We jump in. So again, you guys can already see the Wyckoff. For a lot of you, there's already an entry in here. For a lot of you, there's already an entry right here. So a lot of you might have been already in on this. I actually had people in the mentorship already taking this up and cut and catch it even before me, right? It's just about what you want to do. There's many ways you can enter trades. There's not only one entry. There's not only that entry, right? There's tons of ways to enter. So 
What I did is, you know, again, follow it. We have a bearish structure coming into the zone. Price comes in with this impulse. That is your bearish three box strategy. Price breaks bullish. We now have a bullish three box strategy, taps into its demand zone and pushes up again. So now we have a new bullish three box strategy with a demand zone, right? And what do we know about wicks? They're demand zones, right? Why? On a lower time frame, it's going to be a down move before an up move, right? There it is. Down move before the up move. And it, you know, you could even refine this further. Look at that last down move. Look what happened, right? Why is that? Is that because candles are just like, is it because I'm just, you know, scheming and, and hindsighting? No, I mean, this was all sent out prior, but it's because you can see the volume, as I always say, in the candles. It's all there. So, you know, just study it. Stop looking for, for these bunny hopping strategies. There's so many people teaching so many different things. And it's fine if you want to learn a lot of things, but, you know, stick to something. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not going to get anywhere. Um, and that, that's just the that's just the raw truth. I, I, I was a bunny hopper for literally like, shit, like eight, no, no, seven, seven and a half years or so, right? Just, just going all over the place until I finally stuck to something like this. Um, and then began to, you know, properly research it. And now I teach it. So instead of going through those 12 years, 11 years that I've been through of grueling nonsense, you know, stick to this. So once again, we have that 30 second zone just right there. And off of there, I wanted to confirm one more time. So what I did is I believe it was on a five second, right? Let me double check this. Um, no, it actually looks like it was maybe even on a one second. I think this was on a one second. I think I did follow this move on a one second. Um, yeah, I did. Okay, beautiful. Because all my entries are usually on one second. Um, and you can see why, by the way. Here, here's why I did one second instead of five second for a lot of you that might be asking. So I'm giving a lot of, a lot of, um, very, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of uh, treasure here. But it's okay. I love doing it. I can't take it to the grave with me, right? So I might as well teach it. <laughs> um, you can see the five second impulse, right? Even though there's this break. I don't like wicks. So currently the only five second structure that exists is this three box right here. And that, that's the bearish push, right? So we'd have to wait for this to break and then look to get in. And you can do that, but you can see in this case, it wouldn't have worked. But because this was so far, right? If you measure this, um, here we go. If we measure this, this is over 50% more than the actual retracement. So we're talking about like of the range we're in, we're already almost at the completion of the range, right? Because technically the liquidity of this range is here. Even though we know we're, we're targeting much higher, the liquidity of that range is here. So like you're looking to get involved very late if you're looking to wait for this to break and then looking to get involved because, you know, you don't know if it's first of all going to do this, but if it does that, then, you know, you have a tiny run that could then come and get stopped out really quickly before a run, a real run, right? That's that's just part of the game. So at that point, I was on a one second chart. I'm going to show you the, the little images of this again in a second. And again, we were just following this down. It's the same thing. Um, no different, right? Price comes down, makes a low. Where's that low coming from? The high, right? Here's your impulse. So it's a bearish impulse right now. Am I looking to sell this? Nope, because I'm already bullish, right? Structure, SND, confirm. Structure, POI, confirm. Bias, AOI, confirm. Whatever you've been taught, wherever you're learning, that's all you need. Remember the three steps, it's all you ever need and then manage it and psychologically do it, right? Breaks the high. Where does that break come from? The low here, right? Then comes and breaks the high again. Where does this break right here come from? This low. Now at that point, right? Technically it's valid to make a buy limit right there and have your stop loss right there. Now, again, that stop loss is way too low for me. I don't want to leverage that much. Like I don't want to use that much lot size, right? And again, it's just too small of a, of a pip stop loss. So for me, I was happy to protect myself below this low that I knew was a bigger structural low, right? Because remember golden goose method, if we follow this impulse, impulse, even though there's a mini impulse in here. So we know this should be protected as a protected low under smart money accumulation, because we know that when we shift this smart money is making some kind of accumulation in the form of Selling climax, AR, ST, sign of strength in phase B, STB, spring, break, test, go, right? Again, Wyckoff is there. You can see it. Um, you know, I you can use it. The reality is the three box method takes care of everything, right? So three box method, let's do it, right? So we break that. I set my buy limit at that candles open. That's literally what you see there, right? That's what you see me send out right here. Boom, I get in. I say took another entry, waiting to watch this to move BE. You can see I'm still updating. So, you know, people had time to get in. Again, I don't do signals. Don't think I do signals. This is not financial advice, none of that stuff. This is just my perspective. And I wanted to record my week through the 
through that Discord overall so people can really see what it means to, you know, properly trade if you want to be scalping. What it looks like to, you know, break even trades as they happen, take minus ones, have a down day, and then have a really, really good up day. Um, so, you know, price comes taps in. Again, You it, the, the constant question, once again, is how did you have time to get in? Well, once again, when was the last time it left this area? On that candle, right? That's the last candle that you could have been mitigated into or been entered into before it left. How long was that? From the break. 48 seconds, right? It does not take anybody in the world 48 seconds to type in a five-digit number. Any of you can try this right now. One, two, three, four, five, right? Or I guess six in this case, right? One point, one, two, three, four, five. There you go, six digits. If you can't type that in in 48 seconds, first of all, go to the doctor because that's really bad and you can't be scalping, literally. There's just no shot you can do that um, because that's a lot of time that you have to type that in, right? Anyway, we get we get in on this trade, protected just below this low, happy to take it, one pip stop loss, very happy with that, fine with it, right? Looking for this to go break even, so let's follow it. When did I go break even on this? Same thing as we always do, right? I'm gonna literally break this down for you. So let's follow the three box strategies, very simple. Comes in, breaks the high. Where did that high break come from? This low. So can we go break even yet? No, because price can still reach into here and then keep going, but what can we do? We can lock in our risk at 50%. We can take half of our risk, you know, completely off this trade just because the most recent three box is right here, right? And this is the protected low of a bigger golden goose method. But let's keep following this. So at this point, I still wasn't break even. I was just waiting. I was letting it run. Um, and right there, the second this candle broke, I went break even on this trade. Why? Because this is formed by this three box method. Now, why am I not locking in here? Because as I always say, and as I teach you, if you trail to every single three box that forms, right? If you trail to every single one, price will come and take you out because of the way price moves and because we can't predict every impulse and then it will go and it will just be a reaccumulation. So that's why I break even and leave my entry there and then allow it to run to its um, future points, right? To its partials as I need to. So that's where I went break even on that trade, right? And right after that, you know, the thing is, once you're right about the direction or you're, you're right about the trade and there is that smart money footprint behind it, like I said in my previous videos, that trade's just gonna run, right? There, usually a trade that you're right about just goes. And you guys know this, when you're right about the direction, it just goes. When you're wrong, it likes to linger. Linger, you know, play, maybe come down. Ooh, play, ooh, linger, ooh, linger, linger, right? And at that point, you're already break even on this trade, but a lot of people are sitting there because they're, you know, stuck in the retail space going, hold. Hold, 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 yeah, fuck, right? And there's this explosion. And, and literally, like, you don't ever have to do that. I mean, I've been through it. That's why <laughs> I love doing the enactment of it. But, you know, you don't need to do that. Um, there's no point. Follow the mitigations. Let yourself go break even. Be happy with a loss. Be happy with break even. It's the best feeling in the world. You know why? Because you took it with your psychology in line. You followed your rules and you're happy to take it because you know exactly why you took it. And now you know your edge over time is going to play out. So lo and behold, you know, we can go ahead and look at this now. It begins to do its run, whatever, all good. Meets my partial one perfectly and then comes back down. Again, did I predict this high? No, I looked at, I looked for that one to 10, right? You can see I set that way before it reached it. Here's that partial one that I set up. Here's me taking that partial. Again, I, I don't I don't care about showing you this. The only reason I'm showing you this is so you understand that it is possible and that you have more than enough education available for you right here to utilize it all. So without further ado, comment that shit in the description for that free one-on-one. -on -one. I'd love to get one of you on here, maybe even post it on the YouTube. Um, nonetheless, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, please leave a like, a dislike, whatever. You know, Tell me why you hate it if you hated the video. Um, and most importantly, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know how your journeys are going. I actually do care about you guys. Um, I'm always saying this in the end because usually the people that actually learn are staying to the end of the video. So I do care about you guys more than you know. And you know, leave a comment. I'd love to. I'd love to read over how your how your overall journey is going so far, and maybe like what what your goals are just going in. Um, you know. So yeah, man. Uh, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it a lot, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.